Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. Hi, Evan. Hi, how are you? Well, good. What about you? I'm doing, yes. doing good. It finally stopped raining, and you can see the sun. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay, let's I'm just texting your classmates. Wait, then we have some. Okay, so finally we are here and we are in this third class, right? Uh, we are about to start and we need to go with the section three this time, right? Because in the last class we completed section one and section two, if I'm not mistaken, because that is the requirement, right? So I'm gonna go here with the class which will be having two Day. Let me check just a little bit really quick. Wait a minute. Okay, we are having more participants. There is Maximiliano. Excellent. Welcome to the class, Maximiliano. Hello, welcome. How are you? I'm doing good. Just a little bit of allergies because of the rain. I have, <laughs> but it I have finally, <laughs> it finally stopped raining because it was raining really bad these days. Is it raining where you live? Right now, no. But in the morning, it was raining a little. Okay. Yeah. It has been raining, but right now, uh, since the afternoon, maybe since noon at lunchtime, uh, the sun came up. So we have sun a little bit. It's a little bit sunny. So, yeah. Okay, so I was looking here. This is the class number three, right? Tomorrow, we don't have classes because, as you know, is a holiday. Yeah. So tomorrow, no classes. And on Friday, we will have the next class, right? So that will be the class number four. Actually, the half, because we only have eight classes. So we're about to be in the half of this course. So I hope you're working on the platform, because you know that is one of the requirements from this program, that you are working on the platform at the same time. The last week, you were asked to complete section one and section two, right? So this week we're going to go with section number three, okay? Just for you to know and remind you. Are you working on the platform? Yes? Are you working on the platform? Yes. 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 Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so I see I only have five participants, right? Maximiliano, Jose, Oscar, Juan, and Rocio. So I'm hoping to have the other rest. Maybe they are connecting. Okay, Rocio, I saw your message. Bien, okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the information. Okay, so now you guys, let me check here. So this is your pre-intermediate number two. So basically we finish, finish section one and section two. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna do a review of the exercises, okay? We're gonna start with review of section one and section two, and then we're gonna go with section three, okay? Let me share my screen with you. Okay, so this was section one, right? Um, as you remember, 
we did these conversations. The section like adverbs of frequency and phrases of frequency, right? Like right. weekly, once a week, and things like that. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. But let's do. I know you did this already. We're just gonna do it as a review, okay? <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know what I did. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, you did this, so we're gonna, just going <clears> to <throat> do it again. Okay, read the following prompts. Choose the response in which the adverb in brackets, you know what is brackets? This is a bracket. Well, that's not actually a bracket. That's like a parenthesis. Is place correctly. So, do you play sports? Do you ever play sports? Ever do you play sports? Or do you play sports ever? Number one, two, or three. What is correct? Number one. Number one. Correct. Good job. Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Sure, I twice a week play soccer. Twice a week. Sure, I play soccer. Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Number one, two, or three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Correct. What do you do on Saturday morning, usually? What do you usually do on Saturday morning? What do you do in sa on Saturday usually morning? What usually do you do on Saturday morning? Number one, two, or three? One. One. One, like, I know this is correct, right? So the other ones, they are difficult to read for me because it's like, I don't, I don't <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Okay, so nothing much. I sleep until noon almost always nothing much i sleep until noon almost always nothing much i almost sleep always sleep nothing much i sleep until almost always noon what is the correct one two three one number two you sure okay almost. number two until noon I almost always, yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, because it's almost always, it's the other frequency, it's not a phrase. Do you do aerobics at the gym often? Often do you do? Do you often do? Or do often you? One, two, or three? Two. Number two. Correct. Let me check. Okay, here. No, I do aerobics hardly ever. No. I do hardly ever aerobics. No, hardly ever I do aerobics. No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Number three. Number, Number three. Correct. Three. Do you exercise on Sundays always? Do you always exercise on Sundays? Do you exercise on Sunday always? Always do you exercise on Sundays? Number one. Number one. Correct. No. I exercise on Sundays, never. No, I exercise on Sundays, never. No, I never exercise on Sundays. No, I exercise never on Sundays. One, two, three. Two. Yeah. two. Oh my God, they are a lot. Okay, then <laughs> two more. <laughs> what do you do after class usually? What do you usually do after class? What do you do after class usually? What do you usually do after class? Number one. Number one. And then we got finally number 10. I go out with my classmates about three times a week. I, about three times a week, go out with my classmates. About three times a week, I go out with my classmates. I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Number three. Correct. Let's click. Excellent. Good job, you guys. And let's do the other exercise here. Oh, this is really short. It says, Intru instructions, complete the following questions. Guide yourself with the answers. Choose from how often, how well, how good, and how long, right? So we have here volleyball. I'm pretty good. So what do you think is the answer, the question? How often, how well, or how good? How long? How good? 
How good. good? How good are How you? Good. Next, spend online. Hmm, this is about time, right? About an hour. So what do you think? How often? How long? How long, correct. How long. How long do you, right? Because we're asking the questions. Play cards once or twice a month. Okay. Oh, so uh, how often do you? Yeah. And the last one, not very well, actually. I need to take a typing class. How good. How well can, how well you, can you type? You? Yeah, that we used to say can, right? How well can you type? Excellent. Good job. And this is the last exercise from section number one. And this one we did didn't have to do anything. We just had to do the reading, okay? So like reading, answering, and then you just click enviar. And that is it. As you can see, look, it is completed, yeah? So nothing difficult. It's pretty easy to do. It's a reading exercise. Okay, so here we are in the knowledge check number 2.4. This is from section number two, obviously, right? So it says, um, complete this conversation. Questions and answers must be, must be in simple past. This was the last topic we saw in the last class, simple past. So for the simple past, we usually um, add the auxiliary did, right? And um, the verb, but the verb is in the past or in the base form? In the base form. Base form. Correct, because the auxiliary has the past form. The past. All right, good job, guys. So, did you, so will be stayed or stay? Stay. Yeah. Number three. Correct. In this case, no, I, oh, so this is a, a negative. No, I didn't call, didn't call. my friend. Oh. We, oh, this is in the past. We drop. So it will be number one, two, three. Number one. number one. Correct. So number three, how you spent your last birthday? How did you spend, right? Number one, two, or three? Three. Correct. I, a party. So in this verb in the past is? Had, correct. Everyone enjoyed. enjoyed it, okay? But the neighbors didn't like. Didn't like the noise, correct. I had a party, so it will be one, two, or three. Correct. Let's go with the next one. Five. What you last night? One, two, or three? One. 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 Correct. Excellent. Hey, I want to see everyone participating, okay? Go. So what is the past of go, you guys? Went. Went. So usually it's this one, right? Went. Do. So did you do? So obviously it's number one, two, or three? Number three. Number two, two, two. Number three, oh, okay. Two. <laughs> okay, number eight, okay. I, yes, I, okay, so it's affirmative. Yes, I did. I, uh-huh, so say, we say went. We have two went, went, went. Unfortunately, I, uh-huh, what is spent. the past of spent? Spent or spent it? One or three? Uh, one. One, of course. Two more to go? Yeah. Nine. Sing. So, obviously, the auxiliary and the verb in the sim in the base form. Number one, two, or three? Number two. Correct. And lastly, no, I? Didn't. Didn't. And we're going to choose, let me see. Number one. Number one, yeah. <clears throat> Excellent, good job. So let's see this number two exercise here. It says, listening exercise. What did you do last 
night. Let me share the audio of my computer. I know you did this exercise already, okay? So this is just a practice. This should be really easy for you, right? Easy peasy, piece of cake. We have trouble with that exercise. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're gonna listen to it. Ah, uh, no, it's not this, it's the other one. Oh, it's, it's not this one? Okay, just listen. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so I think it's pretty easy, right? So I'm going to ask, now I'm going to say the name of a person, okay? I'm going to ask you, hey, this is the person, okay? Tell me what is the answer, okay? I'm going to ask the question and then choose a participant. This, well, first I'm going to choose the participant. Um, we're going to go with Tito Alvarenga, who had a boring time. Laura, John, or both? Laura. Laura, boring time, you sure? John. John. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Tito, choose the next participant, please. Who has a good time? Oh. Uh, uh, Laura? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tito. Okay, he gave me the answer. Okay, next is going to be Carlos Enrique. Carlos, who met an old friend? It's Laura. Excellent. Good job. Carlos, choose the next participant. Uh, Kevin. Kevin Arnoldo. Please, Carlos, ask the question. Kevin, who got home late? Both. Both? Okay. Let's see. It's correct. Good job, you guys. Next. So it says, instruction, complete the following conversations. Remember to use the past of B. So it was and where, right? Your parents, so this is a plural, was or where? Where. Where. Where, correct. They, it's a plural, so was or where? Where. Where. They, again, is? Where. where. Correct. Where. No, they. Where. Where. But where it's not. Where it, okay. Let me see. Where it. Where it. You, so obviously is? Where. Correct. No, I. Wasn't. Wasn't, because it's a negative affirmation. Well, a negative answer. How it? So for it is? Was. Was, was correct. It was. Was. Where. You. Where. Where. And for I? Was. 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 Excellent. Was. Oh my God, that was really fast. You're really good at it. Okay, let's go. This is the final exercise. And I think we did this. Well, por qué lo hice? Yo tenía completo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. List. Okay, so we're going to go to the listening, right? The one that you said it was difficult. Okay. It was. A little bit confusing. difficult? No, confusing. 
Oh, because the, instruction, because the instruction said that you have to use complete answer. But then in some of the questions, you use short answer. So it and, says, oh, no, no, no. But the thing is, they don't want you to say, Peter are talking about vacation. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Listen and check the correct. So it says that you were supposed to um, answer completely, not only. Oh, yeah, I understand. Entiendo lo que dicen. It has a very special type of full answer, and, type of period. And it says that you you have to put the, the point at the end. Mm -hmm. But in some answers, if you put a point, it's incorrect. Really? OK. Yes. Okay, let me check. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk mm. about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Okay. So let's see. It says, where did Jason go? So he went to San Francisco, right? Yes. I'm going to put a period. Did he enjoy it? Well, we're going to give it a full answer, right? Like, yes, he did. Where did Barbara go? I'm going to say she stayed home, right? Home. Yes. yes. And did she enjoy it? Yes. 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 I'm going to use she did. I'm going to use it like that. Si me dice que lo corrija, lo corrija. Okay. So he went to San Francisco. So what are supposed to go? He. The, the answer that uh, it was good for all of us is only San Francisco. San Francisco? Yes, without the point. Okay. At the end. Down the period. Huh. Interesting. Let me check something really quick. So if I, he went to San Francisco. San Francisco. Well, whatever. Whatever it works for you. <laughs> if that works, let's do it work. Let's make it work. <laughs> okay. 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 So this was uh, the review of section one and two. I hope you had the time to work on these during like last classes, because now we're going to start with section three, which is the section we need to complete um, in these two classes, right? Like today and Friday. As I told you before, Tomorrow, we don't have classes because it's a holiday, you know, right? And it finally stopped raining. So maybe tomorrow it's going to be a good day. And what is it? Soloy. Yeah, today and then on Friday. Soloy mañana. No, mañana no. no Friday. Viernes. Yeah, correct. Friday. So, because tomorrow, as we know, is a holiday, right? In, in, in El Salvador. So, we don't work tomorrow. So, yeah. Okay, perfect. Let me go with the topics we have for today, which are in the um, section three. So, in this section three, we're going to talk about there is, there are. But we're going to start with a conversation right here. Let me show you the conversation, which is this one. Okay. Welcome everybody to section. 
Listen carefully, okay? Then we're gonna practice. Question eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Let's listen one more time. Welcome, everybody, to Section 8. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Excuse me, I'm... This is the old lady in the conversation, <laughs> and, and she's telling him that it is a barber shop. Do you know why? Because he has long hair. Yeah. <laughs> and all ladies, they don't like that. <laughs> okay. Anyways. So the, the instruction said to pay attention to um, there is and there are and any and some, right? So we're going to identify those things. Okay. Excuse me. Just move in. Okay. Yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there? So here we have one. Any, hmm. So for what I can see so far, any, I can use it with questions, right? Any is for questions. Yes, there are. So some is to talk about an answer, obviously. Some is for an answer and for a plural, right? For a plural as well. It's for a plural. Thank God, porque no me deja señalar. Oh, yes, I, okay, it's there. Anyways, and never mind. On Pine Street, oh, good. And is there, okay. And because we're talking about a singular in this moment, we're using a, right? Because it's a singular. Near here. Well, I think there's, so this is an abbreviation of there is, right? One across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's again, and also a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop, like, ¿por qué me dice eso, señora verdad? Why do I need a barber shop for? <laughs> okay. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna send you the pronunciation of this conversation, and then I'm gonna send you intonation. Okay. Listen carefully. Um, if you have questions about any pronunciation, you can ask me. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Laundro, laundromat, oh yeah, laundromat near here. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop, hey, remember um, this word right here, you can say center or center. Okay, center or center, both are correct. 
like many people say call center, no call center, right? But whatever, it's call center or call center. Both are correct. It's free variation, okay? One more time. Excuse me, I am, I can imagine it, I am, it's I am. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop, okay. Okay, perfect. Good. Okay, I'm gonna send you this screenshot of this conversation and I'm going to send you the audio as well. Alguien mandó ahí en la programación de las clases. Yo estoy escribiendo en el grupo correcto, ¿verdad? No voy a estar escribiendo en el grupo equivocado. Okay. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay. So we're going to practice this conversation. Do you understand the activity? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Wait a minute. So this screenshot. Oh well, someone sent it to. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. No, me equivoqué de grupo. No. Sorry. Ya lo enviaron ahí al grupo. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bueno. <laughs> okay, excellent. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Okay, so let's go and practice. Remember to take turns and practice with your classmates. Okay, there we go.
Okay, excellent. Let's continue. <laughs> we have kids with us. We have some other students. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is the conversation. But now, listen, when we do conversations, remember, we need to do intonation, not only pronunciation, because doing pronunciation is pretty easy, right? Like, excuse me, I'm your, but you sound like a robot. So what we want to do when we are practicing a conversation is go with the intonation and the intonation is the feeling, the feeling we have in the conversation, okay? So right now I'm gonna give you a intonation, an intonation practice, okay? Like the tone of voice and everything, okay? And then you're gonna practice with that and we're gonna come back. Listen, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, se encontraron una señora en la calle le van a decir respetuosamente, excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just move in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Question, suena como pregunta, verdad? Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. Me, me alivié de que me dijo que sí. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, ahí la señora un poquito así como, ¿verdad? Porque quiere que se corte el pelo el muchacho. <laughs> and she's like, by the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Y el muchacho como, ¿qué? A barber shop? Okay, so that the feeling, the feeling, okay? We're gonna do it one more time. It almost said as recorre. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay, I'm gonna send you the audio. Do you want to audio? Now with intonation, pero. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just move in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. So if you can notice, the last audio was like 50 seconds long and this one is 39 seconds long, right? So obviously with intonation, we say it a little bit faster, yeah? But we say it a little bit more natural when speaking, okay? Para no escucharnos todos robóticos cuando estamos hablando. Eh, is there a shopping center around here? Nah. Is there a shopping center around here? Like a question. Make it sound like a question, okay? So what are we going to do right now? We're going to practice intonation, okay? This is a role play, okay? Vamos a hacer un role play. ¿Saben qué es un role play? Do you know what is a role play? Yes. Okay. So the role play is like interpretation, something like that, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, let's go and practice.
Okay, so we practice enough, I believe. I'm gonna go. We're gonna go with the conversation practice. Wait, sorry. Okay, show you. Okay, I'm gonna choose Marvin Arnoldo. Marvin, choose your partner, please. ¿A quién va a elegir compañero? Who's going to be your partner? Marvin. Araujo. Araujo. Who is Araujo? Okay. okay. Marvin, you start. Excuse me. And your new neighbor, Jack, I use moving. Oh, yes. I am looking for... Great store. Are there any around here? Uh, yes. Uh, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And I and I is there long London man near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way. There is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay, excellent. Let's give them an applause. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go with a few corrections. Plus, okay, I'm. This is I'm. No, I am. I'm. Grocery. I'm. I'm. Grocery. Laundromat. 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 Near. 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 And remember, you guys, intonation is always important, okay? The feeling in the conversation, okay? The feeling in the conversation. Okay, I'm going to choose Kevin. Kevin, choose your partner. ¿Quién va a elegir de compañero? Rocío. Rocío, okay. Mira, estaba entre elegirlo usted y a ella, así que it, it was fate. Es del destino. Let's go, Rosie. Kevin, you start. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shopper in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Excellent. Good job. That was really good. Excellent. Well, but just something. Creo que esto, eh, esto fue como nervios. I think you just, you say you, uh, there is a barber shopper. <laughs> but it's a barber shop, right? It's, it, it maybe was something like nervous or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna choose the next and the last couple. Roberto Lemos, choose your partner. Maximiliano. Maximiliano. Okay, Roberto, you start. Excuse me, I'm your new guy for Jack. I just moving. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Excellent, good job. So just maybe one tiny correction. And it's when we do this one, we say moved with the at the end. Moved. Moving. Moved. Moved in. Moved. Moved in. 
No, like the the ed at the end sounds like just d moved moved. Okay, like that. Excellent. But good job to everyone. Excellent. Thank you for your participations. That was good. Okay, now let's continue with the next topic that I wanna um talk to you about. We're gonna talk a little bit about there is and there are. I think you already know um when we use there is and when we use there are. Obviously, we have singular, plural, and uncountables, right? So for singular and uncountables, we use there is. And for plurals, we use there are. And in English grammar, we use there is or there. Sorry. Escondido atrás. My God. Wait, 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 wait. Let me show you now. Okay. So in English grammar, we use there is or there are to talk about things that we can see and things that exist, right? It basically, saying there is and there are is like saying I, de haber, right? Like with H, A, Y in Spanish, right? Like I. But uh, we need some for countables and singular for uncountables and singular and we need uh, the other one for plurals right so we have there is and there are there is we're gonna use it with singulars and uncountables for example there is one person in the house there is one person in the house but if I want to use it with an uncountable num I'm gonna say there is some water in the cup, okay? Or there is water in the cup. Do you know the difference between uncountables and countable nouns? Or non-count nouns? For example, the air, the air that we breathe, okay? That is countable or uncountable? I think it's uncountable. Uncountable, right? Because we cannot count it. I cannot say, hoy respiré 500 mil aires, right? No, I cannot say that. I just said, today I breathe, breath, right? Like, it, it's just like that. Another one, the stars in the sky, are they countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable? Uncountable? Aha, uh -huh. so we have a lot of opinion, different opinions here. The stars are countable. Maybe they are infinite and impossible to count, right? Pero si yo veo una estrella en el cielo, digo, ay, no sé cuántas estrellas hay hoy. 50. I can count. If yo puedo contarlas, me duermo, but I can count them, right? Yes? Yes. There's another thing. The leaves on a tree or in a tree, countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable in that case, right? Countable. So everything that has a measurement by themselves is countable. Todo lo que tiene una medida por sí solo es countable, okay? Lo que necesita una medida, like libras, vasos, eh, kilos, tacita, cucharada, whatever, that is uncountable, okay? For example, Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate is countable or uncountable? Countable, yes. Countable? Chocolate? Countable. No, uncountable. No, no, it's uncountable. So listen to this. Aquí lo poner en jaque. Listen to this. When you say I ate one chocolate, Yo no sé si se comió uno de esos chiquitos que son quises. No sé si se comió una barra de chocolate. No sé si se tomó un chocolate, un vaso, una taza. Right? So I need a measurement. Yes? Si puede ser, me regalaron un chocolate, pero viene pesado en gramos el chocolate, o no? Yes. Yes? Yeah. So there is one thing. Another one. Money. Money. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. It's uncountable. Uh, yeah. What? 
Yeah, what? it's uncountable. What? Yeah, yeah. Listen, money is uncountable. Money. Currency is countable. Currency. So what is currency? Do you know what is currency? I, I think I have an idea about that. What is the idea, Maximiliano? Like a coin. It's the, the money that circulates in a city uh, uh, in, in a country, maybe? Yeah, correct. So a cur the currency of El Salvador was Colón, but now is dollar. Yes. Right? The currency in Mexico is pesos, right? Right. Okay, so listen to this. Money is uncountable. The currency is countable. Why? Because if I say one dollar and one peso, are they the same? No. See? Oh, you see? Yes. yes. Yeah. They are not the yes, same. Make... One dollar and one peso are not the same. Ah, this one. So, but if you say, oh, I have, oh, how much does this cost? ¿Cuánto vale esto? Yo digo, vale cinco dineros. Five monies. Uncountable, right? Right? Yeah. Because we need to say five dollars, five pesos, five soles, five pounds, five whatever, okay? So the currency is countable, money uncountable because it's not the same 10 pesos, 10 dollars, right? It's not the same one quarter to one peso, okay? So that is the difference because currency, countable, money, uncountable. Okay, just but to continue with this explanation of there is and there are. So here we have when we use the complements, uh, and, some, and any. For countable nouns, we're going to use a and n. Do you know when to use a and when to use n? Yes. Okay, give me an example. Well, yeah, uh, well we're going to use a when the next uh, word. The next word begins with a consonant. Correct. But if the next word begins with a uh, vocal, you're vowel. gonna use an vowel, okay? Vowel. Vowel, vowel. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So in this one you can say as a a or a. Both are correct. So yeah, very good. For example, here there is a plum and there is an apple. Okay, and this is with countable that are singular, so meaning just one. Then we go with some. Some, we use it with countables and uncountables in affirmative sentences, okay? Some, so we can use it with countables and uncountables, affirmative. So we can use it with there is and we can use it with there are. It's okay. So we can say, but we cannot use it with singulars, okay? No singulars because some is like algunos. So there is some sugar. Sugar is uncountable, right? So that's why I'm using it with there is. And there are some apples. That is because it's plural, right? There are some apples. I didn't count them, but maybe they are five, four, something like that. Next, any. We use any with countables and uncountables in negative and interrogative. So we're going to use it for negatives and we're using it for questions right in a sentence there isn't any sugar there aren't any apples is there any sugar are there any apples okay so negatives questions do you have questions so far no questions okay let me Give me one second, tiny second. Okay, just to make and understand the use of some and any, we're gonna do this activity. Look at this activity. So it says complete the following dialogue with a, n, some, or any. Peter, let's make mix 
berry smoothie. Mixed berry smoothie. So the smoothie, the smoothie is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, but we're going to use, vamos a hacer un smoothie, ¿verdad? So I'm going to use a, n, some, or any. Any? You really think so? Huh? Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's say finished. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. First, I'm going to copy the link. So we're going to click finished. I'm going to click my answers. Oh, it's not ah. What? What? Some mix. Some? Maybe they are talking about many, doing many. Let me wait a minute. Do it again, of course. I'm gonna click on some finished. Okay, yeah, so it's some. Okay, it's some. Vamos a hacer algo de smoothie. Okay, it can be confusing or tricky. That's why you have to try and try. Ahí les mando el link. There you have the link. Okay, people with computers, me pueden ayudar a compartir. Si no, se lo voy a mandar igual a WhatsApp. I'm going to send it to WhatsApp group, okay? Uh, let me see. Okay, let's go and complete it. Oh, thank you. Ahí démosle las invitaciones, Kevin, Oscar, José, Ramón, Tito. Hello, hello. Ahí están las invitaciones. Let's go. Hello. Tito. Yes, teacher. Uh, solo que no, no. Uh, le di, digamos, sí. Ajá, empecé con un compañero, pero después ya no, ya no aparecí. Vaya, le voy a mandar la dos, pero en esa no se vaya a unir, por favor. No le vaya a dar a aceptar. Bueno. Cuando le aparezca la tres, sí. Ahorita, entonces. Gracias.
Hello, when you finish, send a screenshot to the WhatsApp group with the grade, okay? So with the grade you got. When you finish, send a screenshot. What happened, Tito? Did you finish? Hello, Tito, what happened?
Okay, excellent. So let's see. Uh, we're gonna do another activity, but first, we're gonna complete the one that you will do. Okay, let's go. Here we are. Okay, so the first one was some, right? Then, good idea, what do we need? We need, okay, so, Rocio, what is here? We need... Um. Excellent. Next, blueberries. Let's see, Juan Carlos, blueberries. Carlos? Yes, some. Some, correct. Yes. Okay, Roberto Lemus. Next. Roberto Lemus. Compañero Roberto Lemus por ahí. Yo no veo. Roberto, ¿cuál sería acá? Tom. Let's see, Marvin, do we need? Marvin, Arnoldo? Anything. Do we need any? Okay. Oscar Mauricio. This is some. Okay, excellent. Jose Ramon. Any. I don't add. Uh, Jose Araujo. Any. Alvarenga. Okay, uh, let's go with Maximiliano. Um. Some. Okay. And Carlos Enrique. 
We won't need to add any sugar to it. Correct. Good job, you guys. Okay, so that was there is and there are. So in the platform, if you check, there is a video explaining a little bit about it too. Okay, this video. Now let's go with this next part. Sorry, it's pretty safe. So in this conversation, and next we're gonna be talking about how many and how much. Again, countables and uncountables, right? Because how many and how much are for countables and uncountables. So if you can count, you say how many, okay? If you cannot count, you say how much. For example, uh, how many fingers do you have in your hand? One, two, three, four, and five, yeah? How many fingers? But it says how many water, no, how much water, yes? How much water is there in the cup? Much, because it's on top. Again, with money, we say how much because money is uncountable, okay? So how much money do you make? How much money do you have? Or how much is it? Preguntar cuánto es, cuánto vale algo, decimos, how much is it? Yes? Okay, let's listen and practice. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again, this time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages. But I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. In this session, participants will... This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages. But I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. She was saying it's pretty safe. <laughs> and the car alarm just turned on. Okay, okay, let's go. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. What is downtown? It's the yeah. So it's very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Obviously, in the center of the city, there is like a lot of noise, right? Downtown, is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. Okay, so she lives high up there. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What is corner? Esquina. Esquina. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? Nope. It's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, listen the audio so you can go and practice. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Downtown. Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth 
floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't any parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay? Remember this apartment, no apartment. Okay, don't say apartment, this apartment. And what is the other word that I was thinking about? Restaurants, okay? Restaurants, no, restaurants, no, resto, to, restaurants, okay? That is the correct pronunciation of those words. Let me send you the screenshot to the WhatsApp group. Okay, there we go. Remember, have intonation. Don't sound like a robot, okay? You need to have that intonation to make it good, okay? Let's see and let's go. Oscar Mauricio. Oscar.
final en vez de la E. No dice. Oh. Como ruidoso, pero ahí dice ruido. Es como a la palabra amistad le ponemos friendly, es como amistoso. Pero ahí dice solo ruido, como hace mucho ruido ahí. Hay mucho ruido. Y sí, hay mucho ruido ahí. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Y Dalton ruido ahí. como centro. Ah, uh, Dalton. So Dalton is a, a the middle of the town. So. Okay. Hello, hello, welcome back. So it's almost time, right? It's no. almost, almost, almost. But we got chance to do one group with the conversation. Okay, so let one couple, I mean, let me, let me, let me, let me. I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose. Rocio, Rocio, choose your partner. Um, Marvin? Marvin, okay, Rocio, Rocio, you start. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it, it's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any, I, I, I live in the flip floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place who's around the corner. What about, what about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. In there much crime? No. It's pretty soft, all on that my car alarm. I call you back later. Okay, give them an applause. Thank you very much for participating. Now let's go and see the corrections. Apartment, right, apartment. Convenient. Downtown. On fifth place. Just find is pretty safe. Hold on, call, call. Okay, but that was good. Thank you very much for your participations, and I will see you guys again on Friday. Okay, remember Friday. Yes. Okay. This is okay. Yeah. Have a good rest of the okay, afternoon. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. The same. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Take care. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon.